The next part of the Security Plus, uh, section 1.2, talks about fundamental concepts. So in this video, we will start with the CIA triad and uh, talk about known repudiation as well. So it's important to know what the CIA triad is. What are we trying to do in cybersecurity? Protect data, protect devices, protect people from hackers. Hackers come, come, come from anywhere. And we have fundamental principles in cybersec called the CIA triad. What is a CIA triad? It's uh, an acronym for uh, confidentiality. Confidentiality ensures that data is kept private from on its right access. For integrity, to maintain the trustworthiness of data and availability, which means user users should be able to access data when they need to. So it guides an organization's efforts to ensure data security. And uh, let's look at each of these concepts individually. So first you have confidentiality. Confidentiality is a fundamental principle in cybersecurity that focuses on protecting sensitive, in sensitive information from, from authorized access. So it is, in, it is in confidentiality that you prevent unauthorized disclosure of information by using multiple uh, strategies and technologies such that data is only accessible to those who are authorized to view the data. This is where you have technology called encryption, which we will talk about in section four. So encryption is a technique used to provide confidentiality by converting data into an unreadable format. And if you're not authorized to view the data, you will not be able to see the content of the data. You will see something scrambled, something that doesn't make sense, in, you know, characters that don't make sense. Only those who are authorized to view the data will be able to view the data. That's the principle of confidentiality. Integrity. Integrity is a principle that focuses on ensuring the accuracy of data, and the reliability of data. So here the goal is to prevent unauthorized mo modification to maintain the trustworthiness of data. If I send you a text message that says, hi, good morning, that's exactly what you should receive. You should not receive a text that says, hi, how are you? So someone along the way from my phone to your phone should not be able to uh, modify the content of the text message. And that's where we have a technology called hashing. So the technology called hashing is used to provide integrity. And we are going to see how with multiple examples. But hashing is a technology that converts data to a fixed size of characters, such that if you modify the original data, it will completely denature the, the, the hash so you are, the person will know that the message has been modified and we will see that with a few examples ahead. So if you want to ensure that the content of an email message remains unchanged, that's where integrity comes into play. And that's where the technology like hashing comes into play. So we will, there is a hashing section in the, in the CompTIA uh, syllabus that we will cover in section four. And the third component of the CIA trial is availability. Availability refers to the accessibility of data when needed. So the goal is for timely access to resources. So it's essential to prevent disruptions or downtime or more attacks. Why is availability important? When you type in on your, on your uh, keyboard, on your website, on your, sorry, web browser, amazon.com, CNN.com, ESPN.com, any of those websites, they're always up and running. They're always up and running. Why? Because they have multiple servers such that if one goes down, another one is ready to take over. And that's to achieve availability. You have backups, you have distribution of network traffic. You want the resource to always be available to those who um, uh, need to access. And this is to prevent downtime and to show reliability as well. So those are the three elements of the CIA triad, confidentiality, integrity, availability. If someone wakes you up from your sleep at 2 a.m. and asks you what CIA in cybersecurity, you have to be able to repeat these three terms. Now, there is an additional uh, concept called non-repudiation. Non-repudiation is a concept that ensures that a party, an individual, it's a device or system cannot deny the origin of the message. You cannot deny that you're the one who sends the message with non-repudiation. So it provides evidence that the sender of the data is actually 
the sender of the data. It's actually the person who, who sent it. And it's critical for maintaining trust in digital transactions, such that if you, if you send, you know, um, uh, uh, money to someone or an email to someone, it eventually came from your device and you cannot deny that you sent the data. So there is a, a technique called digital signatures, which we'll talk about in section 1.4. Digital signature is a way to, it's a way to achieve non-repudiation. So you're sending something from your device and it can only be sent from your device. So you cannot deny that you sent it. Another technique is with biometric authentication. When you authenticate with your your uh, uh, physical characteristics like your face or your fingerprints or a few more physical char characteristics, that's one of the techniques to achieve non-repudiation. So that was it for the uh, CIA triad confidentiality, integrity, availability, plus non-repudiation. You cannot deny that you are the sender of a message. All right, guys, was that interesting? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Trust me, you will not regret it. Also follow us on our various social media platforms, including Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, and more to be the first to know about the awesome content that we're prepping for you guys. Thank you for your attention.